and I ate it. I partook of it and it became to me, that word became to me, the joy and the rejoicing of your heart. So let me close off this video time, this day number six with you with four ways that you can get into the word. They come from Proverbs chapter four, verse 20 and 21. And it says these words, my son, give attention to my words, incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. Verse 23 or 22 says, for they are life to those who find them and their health to all their flesh. So four ways that you can get into the word immediately today. You can put this into practice right now. The first one is read or listen to it. Like I said, I write it daily, but I also listen to the word of God on a daily basis. Every day that when I wake up, I press play on the scripture memory app that I have with my own voice. I press play and I listen to the word of God when I wake up. It's one of the first things I do every single day, read and to listen to it. And the reason why you want to do it, the purpose of that is to know the word of God. Now, it's not about just acquiring a whole bunch of knowledge, but you cannot do what you don't know. And God said, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. And so I'm looking to gain that knowledge as I read either large portions of scriptures or even smaller passages. I'm looking to gain a knowledge of God's word as I listen to sermons in the word of God. I'm looking to gain a knowledge of God's word so that I can put it into practice. The second way that you can get something out of the word of God is to memorize it. Oh, I can't wait to get to that section in the Simple Believer program where I teach you how to memorize the word of God. I've taught hundreds of people how to memorize the word of God and I've seen how it has transformed the way that they approach their life. They, they, they think differently. They live differently because they're able to hide God's word inside their heart. David said, I've hidden your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. And how you memorize the word of God. And the purpose of memorizing is so that you have something to fight with. When Jesus was in the wilderness and the enemy was facing off with his identity, he said, it is written. And he started to use the word of God as the sword of the spirit to fight off the enemy. Another way that you can get into the word is to meditate on the word of God. Meditation, the purpose of meditation is to renew your mind so that you can be transformed. As I meditate, I chew upon the word of God. I think upon a particular set of passages little by little over and over and over until it starts to pop and give me revelation. I start to see myself doing the very things that I was reading. Meditation, we'll get more into that on how you meditate in the Simple Believer program. But the last way they get something out of the Word of God that you can instantly implement is how to, is to study the Word of God. Now, the purpose of studying God's Word is for understanding, to get deep in the Word of God and to gain understanding. Proverbs 4, 7 says, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, in all you're getting, get wisdom and get understanding. So understanding is how, you, or you study to get understanding so that if I want to understand a passage, I start to study and I start to dig and I start to dig and I start to dissect and examine and cross-examine so that that word, I begin to go, oh, now I understand why Paul wrote that. I understand why Jesus said that. I understand what Joshua meant when, or, or Moses meant when he penned those words. I begin to understand the scriptures. Thus, I can walk them out in a more effective fashion. So to delight in God's word, boy, that is something that I pray happens in your life. And as you go through the entire program, there will be no opportunity to pass that part by, that you will not succeed as a believer until God's word is your delight. I actually want to take a moment and just pray with you today and pray that God births inside of you a delight and a desire for the word of God. Father, I pray for that person right now watching this video. I pray in Jesus' name that your Holy Spirit, or by your Holy Spirit, you will convict them and give them a delight for the word of God like no other that they will begin to eliminate, as I did with that 40-day kind of fast of some sorts, that they will begin to eliminate things in their life so they can focus on the Word of God and the Word of God alone. And as they do that, their hunger will increase, that they will be satisfied and they'll want more and more and more of your Word, that will, they will not be able to get enough of your Word. Lord, thank you for the grace that is upon their life to meditate upon your Word, to read it, to study it, to memorize it. And I can't wait, Father God, to be a part of this journey with them. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I look forward to seeing you on day seven. I hope you had a great time today. And I can't wait to hear the testimonies of how God's word is changing your life. Bye-bye.